much y'all talking about. I smoke my roaches. Old school vanilla Dutch type nigga. No cigarellos. Don't ever walk in my crib and disrespect my face with no weak, skinny ass, just barely making it around the gram ass cigarello. What? Big Dookie Dutch. Big Dookie Garcia Vega type nigga. This is what I'm jacking, my friends. I have no shame in smoking my roach clips until my fingertips are charcoal gray. To me, that's like a rite of passage. To me, like black and gray fingertips on a smoker, a heavy ass weed smoker is the equivalent to a pro MMA fighter's cauliflower air. I need, I need the cauliflower fingers. I need my roach clips looking like actual Florida roaches. The big joints with the wings. They be trying to call them water bugs out there and palmetto bugs, but nah, nah, beloved. All due respect to your apartment and all that, that's a roach, bro. And I grew up in the 80s, bro. Like, the dirty, filthy 80s. My grandmother, we used to live with my grandmother. She always kept her house spotless, but I still grew up knowing every species of roach. I would definitely take a house with a spider problem over a house with a roach problem. Even though there's probably more chances of you getting bit by a spider than it is with a cockroach. Speaking for myself, I have a personal beef with roaches. Dead ass, bro. I remember my first apartment, my first bachelor pad down in Fort Lauderdale. I had my dope little bachelor pad with my little iMac, loving it. I was chilling. Um, you know, dating chicks. I was out on like A1A, you know what I'm saying, on the strip, going on dates, you know what I'm saying? Finally brought a chick back to the crib. Never seen a roach. Never seen a roach in that house, bro. The day I brung the female back to the crib, why did one of these niggas tap dance across my TV? Why? Of all the days you could have did that, Holmes, you had to do me dirty like that? Embarrassing. So from that day forward, I declared murder beef on the roaches, bro. Murder beef. I was mad. I keep my shit clean. This is not Joe's apartment. You are forever an op. Matter of fact, speaking of Florida and my hatred for roaches, spontaneous story time. Spontaneous story time. Y'all remember when I told you I used to work at the sushi place, right? Sushi place on East Commercial Boulevard. So... One of them days, I was riding a bike over to the to the uh, to the job, right? Now the sous chef in this restaurant, he was a, a black dude that came out of prison, but he was nasty on the grill, bro. He could cook his ass off, so these Japanese people hired him in there. He did his thing, and me and him blazed together. You know what I'm saying? Like during like lunch break and stuff like that. He was cool. He was like always cool, always respected me. I did a couple tattoos for him. He was cool. One day I'm riding to work on the bike. And that day I didn't have my landlord bike. I had the piece of trash little Magna. I know y'all remember the Magnas and shit. They tried to make them look fancy with the springs on the front and shit. And the bike was trash. So I'm riding down. I cross the train tracks. And all of a sudden I see the green Taurus. I see uh, like the dude, the sous chef dude. I, I forgot his name or whatever. But he like, yo, yo, doc, doc, what's good, bro? You need a ride? I'm like, damn, I got like 20 minutes left in this ride. I'm like, yeah, homie, let me get a ride. Now, me not knowing what I was walking into, he pulls over to the side of the road. I pull my bike over to the side of the road. He pops the trunk. He was like, you can lay the back seat down and uh, put the bike in the trunk and shit. And now, uh, you know what I'm saying? We'll just go together. So he pops the trunk. He lays the seat down. I throw the bike in there. Everything is good. What's good, homie? You know what I'm saying? Give him a, get, dap him up. I'm sitting in the car. Old Ford Taurus, I'm sitting in there chilling. Like 10 seconds go by, I start realizing, oh shit, this nigga got a roach in his car, right? I'm like, yo, homie, look, look, going across the dashboard. At first I thought it was nothing, but then I took a look around. Bro, this nigga's car was completely infested with all different species of roaches in his whip. He's like, oh, don't even worry about that, bro. Bro, I was losing my fucking mind. Do you want to talk about anxiety? Talk about having a complete mental meltdown, but in silence with a straight face? Bro, little roaches, 
long roaches, shiny ones that look like they was made of bronze. The big, the big dookie roaches I was talking about before. All kinds of roaches, all on the seat, all on the floor, all on the little, like the, the middle console. Like it was terrible, bro. On the inside, I was crying like a bitch. At this point, my heart is racing, palpitating. It was such a gumbo of emotions all mixed up. Cause here's this guy, you know, cool as hell. He just, all he's trying to do is do me a solid. He's just trying to help me out. I'm over here scared. I'm over here trying to be thankful. I'm trying to keep a conversation going. And you know what I'm saying? Kind of act like I don't really see all of them, but it's like the car was moving on the inside. I don't know how I didn't notice this at first. I guess I was just so excited. And I was like, you know what I'm saying? Happy to be getting a ride and shit. Plus it was him, somebody I was cool with. I didn't know how I didn't see all of them, but, but I'm talking hundreds and hundreds, bro. A little part of me was mad that I didn't have a car and I wasn't being observant. He's doing something out the kindness of his heart. And so I can't even say nothing. You know what I'm saying? I'm just sitting in a seat like, oh, yo, please let this shit hurry up. Luckily, like, you know what I'm saying? We was close, you know, because on the bike, it would have been 15 minutes. Like in the car, it was like five minutes. But bro, in the back of my mind, I knew that as soon as I got to work, I was running to that bathroom and I was going to strip down, son. So now I'm sitting in the seat like, damn, I got to piss. I'm trying to move around because I don't want none of these niggas settling down in none of my pockets trying to hitch rides. You know what I'm saying? So I'm squirming. I'm like moving around, but still trying to stay cool. Damn, I got to piss. Yo, let's get there. Let's hurry up. I get to work. What up, Victor? Say what up to everybody, run beeline straight to the bathroom. Beeline straight to the bathroom, strip down, butt naked. I'm in there, butt ass nick, bro. It was roaches in my fucking sleeves. They was in my pants legs. They was like in my shoes, bro. It was freaking, ugh. And mind you, this is a restaurant that we work at. I don't know where these roaches is dropping down, escaping to. I don't care. This is a legit sushi restaurant that prides themselves on their cleanliness and preparedness and like professionalism. Now you got roaches. And I felt bad, you know? Even thinking about this right now just gives me the heebie jeebies, bro. Just a disrespectful feeling, bro. But I was thankful, but I still felt kind of disrespected by the roaches. How dare you climb in my pockets? How dare you climb in my pockets, bro? But I had to eat that. You know what I'm saying? I had to eat that because they wasn't in my house. I was in their car. Now, that car didn't belong to homie, bro. That car belonged to them. That's on everything, bro. On G-O-D. I, I was offended. I was appalled. I felt violated. It's like the same feeling of you sitting at a barbecue and you sitting there drinking a Corona or something. And then a fly comes and just lands on the mouth part of your beer. What? How dare you fly? How dare you? You can't just pull up and start start drinking somebody else's beer with no permission. Just jump on somebody else's beer and just start swigging. What? Nah, son. I cannot get jiggy with this shit. So the moral of the story is a person might be trying to be nice, might be trying to do you a solid. Just be careful who you take a ride from. Scan the vehicle, look around, you know what I'm saying? Make sure everything is kosher before you get in there cause you might just jump into a moving roach motel. Hey, be sure to subscribe, tap that like button, tap that notification bell, and don't forget to jump in the comments and let me know how you really feel about this whole ordeal. Till next time, I'm Doc Mindbender.